continuing on with a series of videos that we've done comparing electrical components that you might use around your house, just to give you a little more information for your projects so you can make an educated decision. We have a whole series of different videos. I won't run through all those, but the link right here will get you to the playlist. We'll have all those videos included if you want to dive deeper on a few different components or other light switches. But today what we're comparing is rocker light switches from Eaton, and these are both single pole. This is a residential grade 15 amp, and then the commercial spec grade available in my Lowe's in stock is actually a 20 amp, but this is also a single pole. So kind of a residential versus commercial, a very popular light switch, which is the Decora series is commonly the name. I think Eaton refers to it as rocker switches since Decora is a trademark of a competitor brand. But what we'll compare is usually three different areas. First, we'll talk about functionality. Now these are both the same, both rocker switches. So we'll kind of bypass the functionality discussion and dive right into the design and build quality. And that's where we really open things up, break these things open and look at the internals. And then we'll finish up more on the wiring install slash labor side of things. And just looking at the wiring features to see it, is there anything within the design that's going to save you time installing or make just a more consistent quality install between the residential and spec grade. So let's dive into it. Let's get the Dremel tool out and let's open these things up. the residential grade components on the left hand side and then your commercial grade on the right hand side. Let's start with the bracket that holds it into the electrical box which is called the yoke. So for the residential grade there's a little different design in terms of how it holds the housing. So this yoke kind of cradles the housing and holds it in place. There's no self-grounding strap and overall pretty basic. So if we look at the complete commercial grade, the yoke is obviously of a higher quality. The interesting thing here, and I don't know how much this goes into the $10 price tag, is there's a plating on this. So it's kind of a chrome plating, which I have seen in mostly weather resistant components. So I'm not sure if you're paying for weather resistant where you're really not gonna get the bang for the buck, but in addition, this is self-grounding, so it can save you some install if you have elect, uh, metal electrical boxes and the grounding needed between the box and the switch itself. So that is the yoke. Commercial grade is of a much higher quality. I'm just concerned whether or not you're gonna get the bang for the buck, especially, like I said, usually that's more for weather resistance. And if these are inside your house, that's really not gonna play out. So. All right, now going into, let's go into the internals. So with rocker switches, they have a little different design if you're used to a toggle switch and if you saw our other video. So here is where the contact is made. It has that rocking action. So we'll take that guy out because in terms of failure modes and as the switch closes and connects your two hot sides, here's where arcing can happen. So that contact point can deteriorate over time and cause issues or be a point of failure. Now, just the housing in general for the commercial is much larger, but this is kind of a classic challenge of some of these commercial components. This residential is purpose built. So pretty much there's no open voids, there's no extra components. They're all purpose built because they put these out in volume. The commercial grade is not that way. It has a housing that could contain a double pull switch. So two different rockers here. Uh, it's probably the same housing for the three-way switch. So this housing serves many different models across Eaton's lineup. 
The challenge there is I understand from a manufacturer's perspective why they do that, but from a consumer perspective, you're kind of paying for that without getting any benefit from it. So again, we have the same rocking action. If we take that out, so looking at the two contacts, you can see the commercial grade, which is right here, actually has contacts on both sides and is thicker. This is a 20 amp, so that makes sense. And your residential grade is just that single side contact. So again, this component is purpose built for the switch and the functionality of the switch. I believe this component actually goes into multiple switches. In terms of failure points, contacts are important, but then also some of the failures I've seen is within the rocker components themselves. So let's open these guys up and look at the internals to see. Jumping back on the housings for a second, I will note, opening these up, the housing on the commercial was way harder to open up, much better construction. The top to bottom was adhered and secured. I mean, there was really no comparison between the residential and commercial. So the commercial in terms of housing, and if you've seen failures there, I haven't seen a ton of failures in the housings. Um, that is substantially better on the commercial. Okay, so for the rockers themselves, because I have seen failures where the rocker paddle will pop off. So you got a pivot joint here, rest within this outer housing. So that is the design and thickness on your residential grade. Then your commercial. Again, you are paying for the design which you're not using on this commercial. This is really the only functional rocker component which would connect with the contact here but you also have that additional housing for the other models of switches. The pivot is thicker. Uh, in addition, the outer housing is thicker. So this could have a chance of holding up better in terms of the paddle not popping off. So overall, as expected, commercial is beefier, but now let's look at the wiring and kind of labor side of it. So if we flip these guys over and look at the wiring, both the residential grade and, and the commercial grade will have a feature. You can strip your wire without making a shepherd's hook and you can wire within these holes and then secure down this terminal. This plate will then come in contact with the wire and then that's where your connection is made. Both of these have that functionality. Now the commercial is a little bit more like what you see on a GFCI receptacle. It's an individually enclosed where you have complete insulation coming out of the switch. It is pretty nice overall. And the plates within here, you can't really see, but the plates, comparing that plate to the plate that was secure in here, this plate is much, much thicker. In addition to grounding. So grounding on the Residential grade, you are gonna to need to make a J hook or a shepherd's hook and connect that up, kind of a traditional wiring on a screw terminal. But in the commercial grade, they have the back wire built in as well. So you'll just be able to go straight in and wire that in. So there is a few advantages on the commercial, but the back wire feature, which is the main feature, is in both of these switches. So let's bring it all together and talk about, is this guy worth five times the money? No, no, I would not say that the commercial is worth five times. So $2 compared to $10. And these residentials I've seen, uh, when you get a box of them, bring it all the way down to like $1.30 and you're just not gonna get that kind of discount on these commercials. I get it from a manufacturer standpoint. So they need to make common components across many different commercial switches and receptacles. The problem is you are paying for a bunch of features that you're not using. So it's kind of wasted money from a homeowner perspective. I do like some of the features. Obviously the commercial, it has a better build quality on the yoke. The rocker paddle has a better build quality and the housings themselves are more sturdy. But if you take the number of light switches in your home, if you're switching all those out times $2 or 
or $1.30 if you're getting the boxes for the residential grade compared to $10. I mean, that starts to add up. So I do not, I would not use the commercial grade. Maybe I'm missing something. And I'm always very interested to get your feedback. So if you guys know something that I missed or something that is really an advantage of that commercial or why you use them, let me know. Jump down in the comments, engage. There's a lot of great information. And then as that information comes in from all the experienced people out there, I will distill those down in a pinned comment at the top, right below this video, see that pinned comment. And that will have kind of the key takeaways as the comments start to come in. But before you take off, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. We have weekly videos coming out to help you with repairs and improvements around your house. We'll catch you on the next one. Take care.